QuickBooks Online 2021. Transfer data from QuickBooks desktop backup file so that we have starting numbers in a QuickBooks Online account. Let's get into it with Intuit. QuickBooks Online 2021. Here we are on our desktop. Our objective is to set up a new QuickBooks Online file and then take the QuickBooks desktop backup file that we see here and take the data from it as our beginning numbers in our new QuickBooks Online file. And we would like to do this for free. Our assumption is going to be that you don't have access to the desktop version or the online version. Therefore, we're going to utilize in this process the free 30-day trial for both the desktop version and the online version. So a couple caveats here. If you do have the latest version of the desktop program, you can kind of skip forward to that point when we go from the desktop version to the online version. However, if you have an older version of the desktop version, you might be thinking that you could skip forward, but you may not want to. You may still want to do the same process to get the free 30-day trial of the latest version of the desktop program and then take your backup file here or create a backup file if you're using this with your own data from your prior version software, restore it to the latest version of QuickBooks so that you have the latest version which is most likely to convert over as easily as possible when we convert the data to the QuickBooks Online process. So that's going to be the general process. We will then download the 30-day trial of the latest version of QuickBooks Desktop. We'll restore our backup file to that latest version of the desktop version then we'll use the kind of process within the desktop version to link to the online version. In our case, setting up hopefully a free 30-day trial for the online version. However, you could you know, just set up a new company file and pay for the online version at that point as well. Also note that we are doing this basically as starting points for practice problems where we would like to have the beginning balance in place. Therefore, if you're doing this for a course, just note that the file name might not be the same, but the process will. So let's go on over to QuickBooks Online just so we can see it. This is the Intuit website. Our goal is to set up free 30-day trials. We'll have to do it for both online and desktop to make this process work. So just to see where the 30-day trial is in the, in the Intuit Online at this point in time, it's at intuit.com, intuit.com. That's the owner of QuickBooks. I'm going to go into the QuickBooks item or icon, and then we're going to go all the way down to the bottom where our products are. And then I'm going to go into the QuickBooks Online. So we'll go into then uh, the QuickBooks Online. And you can see down below, they typically have this free 30-day trial. So that's we're still going to try to get access to that free 30-day trial in our practice problem here. But we have to do it as we set up the information from the desktop version and convert it over. So therefore, our first step is not to not open the free 30-day trial here, but rather to then open up the desktop free 30 day trial and then and then take our company file. So we're going to then type in to your favorite browser, QuickBooks desktop free trial. I find that it's easier to actually look in your favorite browser like a Google or something like that than actually on the Intuit website. I'm not sure why that is the case, but it typically is. We will be going to an Intuit or QuickBooks owned site for the free trial. So we're then going to say OK. Then typically we'll have something to download a free trial of QuickBooks desktop. So remember, we're looking for the desktop version here, even though we will then be going to the online version later because we want to convert the data file. So I'm going to go into this item. I'm going to download the latest version of the desktop pro. So I'm going to go down. It says QuickBooks Pro 2021. That's what I want. It has the license number down here, which you may need to activate the software. So then we're going to then click on that item and then the QuickBooks Pro starting machine runs down here this is the actual program i'm in google chrome that's why it's going to pop up down here if you're in like firefox the download item might be up top and so on then you're going to run that now i'm not going to go through the running process it can take some time it's a fairly large program quickbooks so just be patient with it but i won't go through the whole process of running it at that point at this point so that'll take a while instead <laughs> we're going to say at the end of the time period when you run it you will then have an icon that's going to be QuickBooks uh, Pro. It may not be Pro Plus, just Pro would be fine. 2021. So once again, we want the latest version because that'll make the, the transfer from the desktop to the online as easy as possible. And if you don't have the latest version and you're doing this for other some other purpose, then you might want to take your data file, make a backup of it from your data file, then do the process we're doing here with the latest version 
so that you can have the best chance of your data converting over as good as possible. Then we're going to open up this file. We're going to open this up so that we can back up or restore this backup file. And we're going to restore it to this folder. So this gets a little bit confusing. We've got a couple things going on here. We've got this is going to be our QuickBooks file. This is our backup file with the data in it, kind of like a Word document as compared to Microsoft Word. Once we restore the backup, though, because this is condensed, we will unpack it and create another file, which is going to be the actual writing file, the QBO file, which I'm just going to put in this folder. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go into QuickBooks. Uh, typically, if you have a company file open, you can close the company file by going to the file dropdown and then going down to close the company file. So I'm going to go ahead and close our company file. And then you'll typically, if this is the first time you've ever opened QuickBooks, you'll be in this, this intro screen. And uh, this will be the typical kind of intro screen. From here, we can create, uh, we can open or restore a company file down here. I like to do it from the file dropdown up top. So I go to the file dropdown, open or restore a company file. We're going to restore a company file. So we got to go to the second option. Then I'm going to say next. And it's going to be a local item. That means it's on our desktop. So I'm going to say next. Then I'm going to find it on the desktop. So I'm going to say desktop. And there it is, the starting point of the adjusting entries. That's the one we want. So I'm going to say OK. And then next. Now I got to see where I want to put it. So once I uncompress this, this is where it's going to go. You could keep it on the desktop, but I recommend creating a folder because it creates not only one file, but some other kind of files that go with it for some reason or another. So it's nice to have it in a folder so you don't have these other weird things floating around on your desktop. So I'm going to put it in here. You can rename it if you want to name it something uh, different down here, of course. And then I'm going to save it. So we're going to save that item. If you're working along with a course and you're using any file that's a Get Great Guitars file, the password is GGG, capital GGG1234, capital GGG1234, capital GGG as in Get Great Guitars, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Now the restoration process can take some time, so give it a little bit of time here. Once it's restored, if I go back to the desktop just to see what happened, there's my backup file. Nothing happened to it. There's my program. That's good. Now I've got the folder, which has stuff in it. Now this is where we put the actual data file. If I go into that data file, then you can see I'm going to make the icons larger. There was nothing in this folder before. This is the actual like QBO file, the actual file that we're using. But you can see it made all this other kind of stuff that I'm not sure how necessary it is. If you delete it all, I think the file still works. But that stuff just kind of hangs around if you put it on your desktop. So it's nice to have its own folder so that that stuff doesn't just kind of litter your desktop. All right, closing this back out. Let's go back on to QuickBooks. Now, even though we now have the 2021 version, they do update even the latest version from time to time. So even if you just downloaded it, you probably want to make sure that you got the latest version. So I'm going to go and also note that if this is the first time that you set up QuickBooks itself, you might have to use the registration number and whatnot that was given on, on the QuickBooks tab over here in order to register the license number and product number. So just remember that. I'm going to close this back out. Then we'll go to the help drop down and we want to update desktop. So I want to update QuickBooks desktop so I make sure I have the latest version in place because again, I want to make it as likely as possible that this will go smoothly as possible. We will update it now. And then I'm going to get the updates. If you have substantial updates, then this may result in you needing to restart the, the program itself or possibly the entire computer. If you don't have substantial updates, then we can just close this out and continue on. Next, we go to the company dropdown. And then we're going to go to export your company file to the QuickBooks Online. So company dropdown, export your company file to QuickBooks Online. So then we have the option to move to an existing QuickBooks file or to set up a paid file, but we want to try the 30-day free trial for our practice problem. So I'm going to want the 30-day free trial. So I want to check this one off. It's not quite as boldened over here. One of the problems with the conversion oftentimes will be the inventory because the inventory for the desktop is in weighted average method versus first in, first out for the version online. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes here and then pick up the starting date would want to convert it. I'll just pick up today as the starting date when the change will take place. And then I'm going to say uh, save it and continue. Save and continue. That's one of the areas we'll, we'll basically be checking 
or you want to be careful of if there's some kind of difference with the inventory. And then we could say, do you have a QuickBooks Online account? If you do, then you say yes, you still may be able to sign in with a 30-day trial considering this is a new company file or a different company file. And if no, then you're going to select no over here and create a company file. I'm going to go ahead and sit, say yes, sign me in. We then have the email and password. And then I'm going to have the company name for my company name as the Get Great Guitars Transfer from Desktop Company File. And then we're going to go down here and upload. Depending on the size of your file, that upload process can take some time. So give it a little bit of time. Just note also that this the software for QuickBooks to, to do this upload has been interfering a little bit with my recording software. So if the audio is not quite as good as it has been, then uh, that's kind of one of the issues. But in any case, here we go. We're going to say get it, got it, so got it. After a little bit of time, and again, that does take a little bit of time, they're going to email you. So we've emailed us. We got an email here saying, congratulations, your data is now available on QuickBooks Online. So we then can go ahead and complete your setup. So I'm going to click on the complete setup, which should be a link. Once that logs you into your account, you may have to finalize a couple more questions here, including what's your role at your business? We're going to select owner for our role for our practice purposes here. Do you have an account or bookkeeper right now? I'm going to say, no, we do it ourselves at this point. And then we're going to say, great, we'll be with you every step of the way. So I'm going to say, great, all set. And there's our date. Once set up here, then you're typically going to want to double check your data that's going to be on the online to what you have on the desktop version. Because there could be some issues with the conversion, especially with things like the inventory item that we talked about. So welcome to QuickBooks Online. So I'm going to say, okay, and you could take the let's go tour. I'm just going to close out of it myself. And then once again, you have this on the online version and you want to kind of check it to what you have in the desktop version. You can then run reports on the left hand side, the main two reports, those being the balance sheet and the income statement, which are typically going to be up top in uh, the favorite reports. So we're going to say favorite reports. I'll open up the balance sheet type of report and then let's run that from. So here let's run it from 010121 to 123121 and say run it. So that's what we have in our data thus far. We can go to the income statement. I'm going to duplicate the tab, right click, duplicate the tab up top. We'll talk more about, you know, right clicking and duplicating tabs as we go, but that's a nice feature to have. And then we go down to the reports on the left hand side and then open up the income statement. The other way you can kind of check that is, this is with simply running a trial balance type of report in both uh, softwares and checking it there. Running this from 010121 to 123121 and run that report. I'm going to close up the hamburger, hold down control, scroll up just a bit. And then it, once again, you can run through these numbers, double check them to what is on uh, the desktop version. And if there's any differences in them, then you can kind of drill down and see what those differences are. If you're working in the practice problem here, we should be able to, to mainly push forward with it. Note that, again, one of the problem areas that are going to be in the transfer could be with something like uh, the inventory items, those being a separate, separate method uh, from the desktop to the online version, desktop being weighted average, online version being the uh, first in, first out method. But in any case, that's going to be the process.